Hey guys, we have a new design on the Union Teespring shop called New Skies. You can purchase this in a variety of different colors and it can also be bought as a sticker as well. If you wish to purchase this design, a link will be down below in the description. What is going on ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Prodigy and welcome to another Kingdom Hearts video on the channel. Today guys, we're going to be talking about a quite popular topic within the community that stems from Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind's Limit Cut episode. The very beginning of it in fact, the cutscene where Riku and Terra are talking and you see the Birth by Sleep trio go into a portal and then the scene transitions into a black screen that says one year later. And we get absolutely no follow up on where the Birth by Sleep trio went that cutscene was probably the most out of place cutscene in the entirety of Remind and I'm very curious as to where they're going with that because it's leading to a new birth by sleep game they go into the realm of darkness what exactly like happened in that scene when we first saw the Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind trailers and we saw Aqua and Riku having that small little interaction Riku saying are you sure about this Aqua saying yes but I'm not alone this time we figured that they were going to the realm of darkness off of that scene and it seems like that might still end up being the case although it isn't quite confirmed it's just heavily implied because otherwise why would aqua even say that line i'm not alone this time the only place where she was really alone was in the realm of darkness for a significant period of time and i'm going to assume they're going into the realm of darkness likely because they want to search for sora i'd imagine it seems like the next kingdom hearts games the next set of kingdom hearts games are probably going to primarily focus on other characters characters searching for Sora and then we'll get back into Sora like by the time we reach to Kingdom Hearts 4 we might go a couple of games without playing as Sora actually which sounds a little bit interesting in my opinion I mean Sora's my favorite character and all but I don't mind you know playing as some of these other characters because they felt really good in Kingdom Hearts like 3's engine in the Unreal Engine 4. Aqua is definitely my second favorite character to play as in the Kingdom Hearts series and Kyrie could easily take that spot if we play even even more of her if we have a full game like surrounding her because her combat was so unique and fun and different from anyone else's in the Kingdom Hearts series previously. Is this so weird the scene placement because we don't know what it's even alluding to. We can figure that it's alluding to them trying to save Sora in the realm of darkness. The whole Birth by Sleep trio went there and I'm sure they're going to probably make a game about that or that they're going to have some segment in some upcoming game that's going to be about that. Nomura confirmed that we have Dark Road coming out very soon and then we have two other projects that are in the works and one of them is coming sooner than we think and the one that is coming sooner than we think is assumed to be the Kyrie game because he said in another interview previously in the seven questions of light 13 questions of darkness interview he did on twitter he said that the one that's coming sooner than we think think is based off of the title screen of Remind. So it leads us to imagine that this is going to be a game about Kairi attempting to save Sora. But is it possible that that second game, that second game that they're working on that might come out after like the Kairi game is going to be one surrounding the Birth by Sleep trail? Is that possible at all? What if they run into someone in the Realm of Darkness? Someone like the Foreteller, someone like Lushu, someone like Maleficent, Pete. What if they're the ones that are going to be progressing the saga of the foretellers while Kairi, Riku, I'd assume, who are going to be in the Kairi game, are going to be trying to get Sora back for the most part. They're going to be the ones like in the Verum Rex lore and whatnot. But that's just hypothetical talk. Someone at some point before Kingdom Hearts 4 in one of these two games are going to interact or have some sort of conflict, early conflict, whether it's a teaser, whether it's a full scale battle with Lushu, with the Master of Masters, the foretellers, whatever is like going on with those guys. And I believe that based off of this, that that might be the Birth by Sleep trail because they kept that scene like extremely vague. I mean, the next Kingdom Hearts games are just incredibly vague, but I'm just trying to piece some things together and see what we can find out. I believe a Birth by Sleep game, like a Birth by Sleep 2 sort of thing, could end up coming. And it's probably not going to be titled Birth by Sleep. That's just the base title we can come up with based off of like the trio's like name. It'll probably be called something else, but it'll still be revolved around the the Birth by Sleep trio. We have a Kyrie Riku game coming. But that makes me wonder as well, since the Birth by Sleep trio is getting a game and the Destiny trio might end up having their like moment, I wonder what they're going to 
do with the Days Trio? Are they going to be involved in one of those games, but have like a sort of smaller or sort of split role? Because the Days Trio is kind of just chilling in Twilight Town. A lot of people theorize that the Days Trio is not going to be part of like the future of the Kingdom Hearts. Or they're just going to be chilling. They're going to be like, all right, bro. So we got our bodies back. We're just going to dip. Y'all do your Keyblade wielder thing. But I don't think that's going to happen because for starters, you have Axel, who is going to be involved in the Subject X story, I'd assume. That seems like a plot point him and Saix are going to be moving forward heavily, and I'm going to assume that that storyline is going to be heavily touched up upon in Kingdom Hearts 4 or whatever game comes before it. Then you have Roxas, who still is technically connected to Sora, even though he is his own person. I'd assume he'd be a heavy factor in trying to figure out where Sora is in the first place, and he might actually be the third person that Fairy Godmother is talking about in the end of the Limit Cut episode, when she's talking about how Riku's dreams could hold a key, so does Kairi's, and the other one too. Shion's a character that's kind of a wild card in all of this. I don't exactly know what she's going to do. She might just follow whatever Roxas and Axel end up doing, but she is one of my favorite characters, and I would love to see her have a role too, maybe in a playable fashion, but who really knows? All of this is just really intriguing though, and I might make a more like scripted and like thought out video talking about each possibility that they can like go like in terms of like what Kingdom Hearts games they can make because there is a lot of like things that could have their own separate games they really wanted to and I wonder how big these next Kingdom Hearts games are going to be I'm not expecting them to be on the length of like Kingdom Hearts 3 however though older Kingdom Hearts games non-number tiles have been pretty lengthy before I mean games like Birth by Sleep aren't necessarily short games I mean each story if you're playing them in a casual sense probably will take you about 10 hours or more each and that's actually debatably longer than games like Kingdom Hearts 1 2 and 3 because Kingdom Hearts 1 2 and 3 story playthroughs are probably closer to around 25 to 30 hours themselves for me I beat Kingdom Hearts 3 at around 25 hours story-wise Games like Chain of Memories aren't necessarily short either and is packed full of content. Dream Drop Distance is packed full of some of the most important story in the Kingdom Hearts series pertaining to the Dark Seeker saga and it's not a numbered title. And boy, how many videos have I made about Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and how important that is. So I'm, I'm not going to undermine these titles and think like they're going to save everything for like the big number title because that's been proven otherwise. They did save everything for the big number titles and people would easily be able Able to just play one two and three and be perfectly fine but we all know as kingdom hearts fans that's not the case you have to play like every kingdom hearts game to understand the story and fully like indulge yourself in that universe so i wonder like how much will they put into these games but i do feel like they might take a step back a little bit like we won't have any major major like fights with the foretellers or even Yazora again until like Kingdom Hearts 4 however I am confident they will allude to it or we'll get some sort of teaser something like heavily like following up or that will be alluding like to that in like these two games one thing i am pretty confident about however with these two games i don't know if Sora's going to be playable in them i feel like he will be because nomura did say he's going to still remain the main protagonist of the series going forward but sora is not often the protagonist of like non-numbered titles so i'm pretty confident that these games whether it's like a split protagonist sort of thing like dream drop or chain of memories or if it's some like birth by sleep i'm pretty confident these future games are going to focus a little bit more or on other playable characters two separate ones even i think we're going to get one game probably focusing around kairi riku maybe having sora playable in like a secret episode or ending to that game and i think we'll have another game that's going to focus around the birth by sleep trail that's what i'm thinking right now i know a lot of people in the back of their head are thinking okay what if nomura does the godlike thing and it gives us a very next yazora type game focusing on him and as time progresses i'm gonna be honest i feel like that's a little less likely though it could happen in a title between kingdom hearts 4 and like 5 or something because i don't think the saga is going to end with like kingdom hearts 4 or anything i think we probably have like two or three more number tiles to go we're going to get another trilogy of number tiles before the saga ends. this saga could be just as long as the dark secret saga or it could be about half as long which is still pretty long one thing as i've said previously though i do hope that these games kind of build upon or i 
at least like have a similar feel as to how Kingdom Hearts 3 felt. Though, I know they're probably going to introduce some new mechanics, some new gimmicks, something new because no Kingdom Hearts game, not a single Kingdom Hearts game, plays the same as the last one at all. Days plays completely differently from Recoded, Kingdom Hearts 1 plays completely differently from 2, Kingdom Hearts 3 plays completely differently from everything else, Dream Drop Distance plays completely differently from Birth by Sleep, and so on and so forth. However though, Kingdom Hearts is good having a good like baseline like gameplay system that is like friendly to anyone who has been playing like each and every game. But yeah, I'm just rambling at this point though. Uh, I really do hope we get like a new birth by sleep type of game or a new game where it focuses on the birth by sleep show in the realm of darkness because i feel like in kingdom hearts 3 we definitely got a little bit shafted in terms of like realm of darkness content you could say 0 0.2 was what gave that to us but i know a lot of people were kind of looking forward to maybe playing a little bit more of riku and mickey in the realm of darkness even if it was exploring the same areas that were in 0 0.2 i feel like a lot of people would have like enjoyed that you know just because riku and mickey are the ones there it would have felt like decently different and it would have been a little bit more satisfying gameplay wise but that's all hypothetical talk maybe people wouldn't have liked that maybe the way they did Riku and Mickey in Kingdom Hearts 3 even though I felt like it was mostly fine I feel like they could have done a little bit more maybe like it was fine and uh that was the best route they could have went however though uh thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed leave a like share the video with a friend or a family member and last but not least if you have not already and want to become a part of the union all you have to do is hit that red little subscribe button down below my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out